399 out the Fur Park Tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to a brand new matchday vlog. Today we've got St Johnson at home. It's nearly 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm really fired up for this. Said no one ever. Uh, it's about 9 hours till kick off and I'm already up because I've got the train at half 7 in Newcastle and I've got to get across to, to Newcastle from Sunderland. So that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's crack on with the rest of the day. Anyway, I'm on the web. Right, so now we're in Motherwell, I'm going to JD's or Steelworks, get a couple of drinks in before the game, then see if we can actually get our first win in about four weeks. Although, yeah, we've played two games since the last time we played at my Mecca, uh, Celtic away and Hibs away. Not a good record, but... Um, We've just got to make sure we can make up for that today because uh, last week, Hibs away, should never have thrown that game. But, uh, you know, as I said in the video, you'll get about five or six games like that a season uh, where, you, where you end up not getting the full rewards from your performance. It's just up to Motherwell to claim those points back. Here we go again.
Get it away, man. <laughs> That'll do. For, yes, in brackets, F-O-U-R, that's how you spell it, isn't it? Motherwell 4, St Johnson 0. Wow, that is our biggest home scalp since we beat St Mirren 5-0 in April 2015, I'd like to say. Uh, just before we played Rangers in the playoffs. So, yeah, it was an emphatic victory in the end. But, let me start off by saying this. We played a lot better against Hibs last week than we did against St Johnson this week. We played better football, but we were much more clinical this week. Even a friendly had more of a competitive edge than this match. I mean, I think Tam Cowden said on the radio that you wouldn't even be surprised if one team scored six or both teams scored six. It was just that sort of game that it just seemed like it meant nothing. We got the business done. Uh, St Johnson actually started off the brighter team. Uh, they took the game to us and then we just sort of edged back into it somehow. And then Hilton with a fantastic bit of play on the left uh, crossed it into Devante Cole who headed it home to make it 1 0. And after that, I just didn't feel threatened. I thought St Johnson seemed very shaky defensively and we punished them for all their errors in the second half. The second half was a complete different Motherwell. Uh, to the first half. I thought uh, Robbo must have gone in and said to them at half time, look, they, they are there for the taking. We need to up our goal difference and just kill the game early on in the second half so we can play with as much freedom as we want. And we did that. Hartley scored within five minutes of the second half. And then Jake Carroll also scored from another corner. And big Christy Manzinga. Uh, coming off the bench to score on his debut to make it 4-0 I thought was uh, more than well worth it although St Johnson did create a lot of chances at 2-0 uh, they could if they had scored they could easily find their way back into the game so the next goal was vital and I'm glad Jake Carroll got that third goal anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video uh, I'm just trying to edge it up to 10 minutes now but uh, yeah Fantastic result, uh, bring on St Mirren on Wednesday, I unfortunately cannot go because, well, for a start I've got a game in Hull during the day and yes, I actually play football, um, playing for the Sunderland Uni team, uh, I scored against Hull the last time we played them, uh, a cheeky wee volley. Also, I've got a night out for one of the boys in the team, so uh, yeah, we've... We've got a full kit wanker uh, theme going, so it's, it's going to be class. Please leave a like down below if you want more of this snazzy content. And uh, this is just the start of a very busy December for me. So, yes, without any further ado, I have to go and get some work done. I'll see you later. Take care.